Hi, this is Nor Poloni at Eden Games. Welcome to part 2 of Real World Rules. All larger objects can be picked up and manipulated in real time, where the manipulation is directly linked to the analog stick. Move more quickly for blows, or more slowly when you need more precision. This, of course, applies to all objects in your environment. With a wooden chair, for example, you can use a source of fire to light it and use it as an improvised torch to light your way in dark places. As you'd expect, you can put out fire with an extinguisher. It can also be used in combat or to break down doors. All elements react realistically to impact according to their physical properties. Another useful object is a table which I can upturn and hide behind to avoid attacks. I can also break it into pieces and use a leg of the table as an improvised torch. One iconic object in survival situations is a healing spray. You can spray it at enemies to blind them, heal your wounds, or combine it with a lighter to create a powerful flamethrower. You'll have to choose between using it as a deadly weapon or saving it to heal yourself when your life is in jeopardy. We'll go more in depth later with the other exciting features of Alone in the Dark. Stay tuned for the next episode. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next episode.